Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Neeraj Kumar Singh and we are continuing with our tutorials on the Jira Administrator. With administrator comes a lot of settings and a lot of configurations. Of course, being an administrator requires you to understand all these options. So trying to cover as much as possible and as a part of that initiative, I'm trying to cover Jira software configuration in today's tutorial. Let's have a look what exactly do we have as a part of Jira software configuration and what configurations we can do as a part of this. As a part of this tutorial, we will be further understanding more about the applications management in that there's another section talking about the Jira software config configuration. Where the Jira software is the instance which we are working on right now and of course has certain configurations which can allow you to set it up. The options we will be covering in this tutorial is parallel sprint, sticky sprint headers, days in column, relevant sprint. To continue understanding the same, all we need to do is get into the section where you find this option here under the Applications menu that is Jira Software Configuration. All you need to do is click on this option to enable this. Now, of course, when you have multiple applications, you will have multiple tabs here about each one of them, like Jira Confluence, Jira Core, or Jira Service Desk Management. So if you have any of these products already installed on your Jira server instance, then of course you will have the other menus as well to configure them. As a part of this configuration, when you're talking about Jira software, there are four options which you can enable or disable. Number one is the parallel sprints. The parallel sprints allows a new sprint to be started when one is already in progress. Generally, some of the organizations follow the cyclic approach or cycle overlapping concept that I can start the next sprint, meanwhile the other sprint is still going on. But a lot of organizations also say that I must complete a particular sprint, then only start with a new one. It all depends uh, to be followed in your project within Jira is by enabling this button or disabling this checkbox. So all you can do is enable this to enable the parallel sprint. That means you can run simultaneous sprints within the same project or uncheck this button to disable the parallel sprint option. In that case, the create sprint button or start sprint button will only be enabled when the previous sprint is completed. The second option is sticky sprint headers. This option allows you to keep a navigation tab on the top about the sprint information in the Jira board. So makes the sprint headers stick to the top of the backlog so that the sprint information is visible on the screen even when scrolling through the large amount of issues. Just for a quick navigation, if you see this information in the backlog and I go to the backlog and I see a lot of details about the sprint on the top, like sprint one, nine issues, active, started on this date, uh, you know, progressing on this date and so on, to deliver the 10.3 and 10.4 is the commitment. Now even if I have a lot of issues right below this, and I have a scroll bar here, then when I scroll, this part of the beginning will be stuck on the top, just like freezing the panes in the Excel. So in MS Excel, that is Microsoft Excel, when you freeze the panes on the top to see the headers of the table, the same way here you can freeze this header because every time you scroll down, probably you would need to refer the information that which sprint you are talking about. The third option is days in the column shows darts representing the time and issue spent in a particular column on Jira board. Disabling improves performance. Now, of course, the days in column will definitely showcase you certain dots on the Jira board. So if I go back to my Jira board and you will definitely look into that, you will have the task and of course certain dots being represented here next to that and uh, you can definitely look into the number of dots which will say that the, the task is lying in that column for that many days so right now we have no updates because we have not enabled this and right now you will not see any dots here but when you go basically to the boards or active sprint you will see on the right side some of the dots being populated that shows that how long this task is been into a particular column. If I push a task into the next column, then the dot will show according to the in progress. That how long, how many days this task has been in this particular column. So that's the option which talks about the days in the column. And of course, they recommend that disabling improves the performance. That means we do not really need that to be there. The number four is relevant sprint. 
limits sprint suggestions in the sprint drop down to sprints from the selected project when creating or editing an issue. Of course, while creating an issue, you do have an option to uh, select the sprint in which it should be falling under. So if I create a new issue, at the bottom you see there is a sprint field and if I just drop down here, I would see the suggestions. Right now I have only one sprint, but of course sometime I may have multiple sprints which are created. So I will have a list of all the sprints being recommended to me in order to select one. But of course by using this option in the Jira software, you can determine, you can limit the number of suggestions being provided on a particular issue to the current project only. That means it will not move out of that particular project. So yeah, you can these, uh, enable these kind of options to be more efficient and pro productive while working with Jira software instance. Well, that's what all we have from the Jira software configuration in this tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.